Hey, hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back. We're playing Agrarian Skies again today. Episode number three here with Snoresby, and I've been grinding away a little bit here on our mob farm, and you can see we've got a few upgrades to this pan of destiny. It's actually looking pretty deadly right now. Uh, so we're up to level. Does it actually say what level we're on? Not really sure. But uh, you can see we've got auto repair, lifesteal 2, knockback, and fiery on here. We're skill level master. There you go. Uh, with this thing. Shows that I haven't actually been using it that much, but... Uh, Oh well, it's leveled that far, so I'm not complaining. But we have uh, got ourselves enough drops here to finish two quests. So the first one is Mary had a butcher shop. Uh, you can go ahead and read that thing. Well, we've got the uh, menu submit for those two, and uh, that's all we need. So we're going to get ourselves a safari net, a quarter of a heart, and a reward bag, and two one of two potion flasks. So let's go the second one. I don't know what it'll give us. Safari net, it's a mystery. I really don't want to just open that. What have we got? Potion Flask, Invisibility. Interesting, I don't know when we'll use that. Ooh, a greater reward bag. Fingers crossed this is good. A Golden Nixon. Probably a Crook. So I've heard that this thing is pretty much the same as a Crook, except it just gives you higher drop rates or something. I don't really know. But, uh, I don't think it's super useful. Um, but yeah, that's uh, doing good things for us anyway. So... Uh, that's good. There was another quest here we needed to hand it in as well. Just kill the zombies. It's like a daily one. You get four apples and half a heart. So, uh, claim that reward. May as well. What else have we got left? Ooh, getting rubbery. We must go deeper once. Hmm. Auto brewer. Why don't you go ahead and make that? Let's have a quick look here. Auto brewer. Oh, yeah. Brewing station. How do you get a blazer on? Hmm, that could be, uh, oh, I might have to spawn a blaze for that. Definitely not quite ready <laughs> for that just at this stage. Let's go store this. Uh, but I've done a few things here off camera just to get a little bit ready uh, for today's episode. One thing I want to start early on is uh, getting ourselves some good, good lava generation. And uh, the way we're going to do that, I've already got five, five buckets worth of lava here. I'm going to make a whole heap of netherrack. And uh, you can see I've already made four unfired crucibles. So I may as well get those smelted up here real quick while it uh, turns night time. I might sleep through the night as well. Really quick. I only need one piece there. Let's put this in. Awesome. All right, so, yeah, like I said, we're going to go for getting ourselves a whole heap of lava generator because uh, I think that's what we're going to use early on for our um, power generation is uh, lava ones. Hang on. Lava ones, that's not really the correct name. The uh, magmatic dynamos, we're going to try and use those, even though they're pretty expensive. We'll, we'll manage. So, the way that we're going to do that, I'm pretty sure there's a quest as well uh, regarding fluids. So, go with the flow, I'm pretty sure. So, fluid storage, let's work on this for a little bit. So you've got a portable tank, a normal tank, and a fluid tank. So I've got to get one of each of those. So let's just see what that involves. Portable tank. So copper with glass around the outside. Pretty straightforward if we had some copper, that is. Doesn't look like it, does it? Um, not in there. It's alright, let's go inside here and see what we can find. In terms of copper, well, this will do for me. I might actually just put these uh, tools away. Well, actually, now that I'm running out of space. Um, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to put all this stuff. It's firing it. It's a mystery. I'm not going to put that down just yet. Let's put this thing away. That in there, that in there as well. That can probably go away. Alright. Let's cook this up really quickly. Awesome, so copper dust, and then uh, I'm pretty sure that's the level it was. Yeah, just the portable tank. So we got the glass for it. Let's have a quick look here. I think we probably do. Oh, we're one short. One bit of sand there, though, so I may as well just chuck that in. Have we got a piece of wood? Been super inefficient, but whatever. <laughs> Who cares? All right, so we've got those four. And we have our buckets of lava, so let's go ahead while we're waiting and make our... Um, netherrack. So the way you make netherrack is, get yourself a bucket, and uh, you'll need your stone barrel, so put a bucket of lava in a stone barrel, and right click with a piece of redstone, and you get a bit of netherrack. So we're going to need four, no, three more of these. One, 
two, three. So four, and then the fifth is under here. And then we've got another bucket of lava, but let's uh, that in this tank here. So we can uh, put this fire out. Hopefully we'll get both of these back. Fingers crossed this doesn't fall out. Oof, clutch mode. All right, let's uh, place that block here really quickly so we don't fall out of the void. That's never fun. All right, glass there. Copper should be done. I've been looking into a, uh, this uh, mech works, I think that's what it's called. No, not mech works. Steel works, maybe. Yes, steel works. I'm still trying to figure out what these are, but apparently these are good to get into soon, so... Off camera here, I might have a look into it just uh, to see what the go is. Alright. That's one tank, anyway. Alright, so the next thing is... The tank... What we, let's just look up tanks here. Because we need to get this fluid tank, ooh, which requires a whole heap of uh, copper. Oh, well, it looks like we're going to do at least two more of those. And I know that the tank from open blocks, you need four bits of obsidian. So I'm going to have to figure out how we're going to go about doing that as well. Um, well, the way you get obsidian, I'll show you another thing. Let's get our lava generating generation going anyway, just so we can... Uh, Get it started. Where am I going to put this, now that I think about it? Um, I could just put it straight back here, I guess. For now. Oh, Now accustomed to the weight of the pick of splintered dreams. One haste. Awesome. Well, that's good to have. Stats. 4.38 mining speed. Stonebound. We can upgrade that later anyway. Right, let's grab some... Actually, got plenty of it here on me. Let's get a few of those going. Probably not enough, but should be right. We're going to have a row of these. Like so. That works fine for me. And then we'll put our wall back. Actually, well, we'll have to get, get some more wall while the look at it. How did I put it all? I swear I had more wall. Seven pieces, probably not quite enough. Let's see. Just don't want to go falling off the void here. It's never a good time. Well, close enough. Alright, so... I'm thinking netherrack. Go... Well, actually, let's put this underneath. I want to put... We'll put a double layer of this. So that we don't lose our nether rack if we want to pick it up again, which I dare say is likely. Alright. Awesome. Okay, nether rack. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna have all of our crucibles up here. Not exactly how I want it. Uh alright, let's I'm gonna adjust this off camera, guys. When I come back it'll be fully done. And, uh, yeah, you'll see. Okay, so I've gone ahead and made myself a few things here, now that I've got this all sorted the way I want it. I've got myself a barrel, and I've got some item ducts. So, put the item ducts, one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll put the next one here. Then on top of that, we're going to put our barrel. Now, this is going to be our cobblestone supply. Uh, can I... Alright. Now, we have a crescent hammer here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. If not, well, that's uh, me derping. Pretty sure I got one. Probably in our chest of tools. Let's have a look. There it is. I knew I had one somewhere. But uh, we're going to get some good lava going here pretty quickly. So if we chuck that onto that mode, and then... This is going to be pretty rough and rudimentary, but uh, hopefully it'll do the trick. Get this going like so. Awesome. And then, um, got to fill this with cobblestone, so let's go grab a whole heap out of our chest here. This will be enough, for the time being anyway. So is that going to start pulling out of that? Yes it is, indeed. Alright, so now it's hopefully going to start filling these up. There you go, look at it go. Awesome, so, now the last step in getting this to produce lava, like before, is to light it fire underneath. So we're not going to want to put too many of these here because the fire does create a bit of lag, I've found. 
Um, but for now, this will do. So the next step is to get ourselves some more tanks. But, uh, while we're waiting, we can always just use this portable tank and some fluid ducts. So... We need the fluid ducts, though. That's the uh, the main thing. So uh, let me get my uh, sound muffler again for over here. So you can see when this thing is in operation, this it's quite loud. So let's uh, place that there for now. Fluid ducts. How many of those do I have? I might have to make a few more here. Fluid ducts, where are you? Six of them. Perfect, just the right amount. Probably don't have quite enough redstone to uh, activate them, but we'll see. Right, so one, two, three, four, five. And then, put our lava. Yeah, well, we won't even probably have to put it there. Probably put it straight on there, like so. Right, so then we'll turn these to all like this. And, well, to be, uh, where did I put, hang on, let's just grab one, two, three, four, five. Five of them there. Put levers on all of them and then they should work. It's pretty uh, basic sort of setup, but it should do the trick. Look at that. And then we'll need five cobble, uh, five. Well, maybe we won't even. We'll see how this works. All this redstone stuff. It's not my particular forte, and you know, I can't get up on there. Ah, I've made it too difficult to get to it. <laughs> All this jumping is probably not good. All right, let's make at least two levers here. So if I do this, uh, no, I'm gonna have to make one for each of them, aren't I? Wow, look at that, heaps of lava already. Awesome, so we need to make obsidian and this is why I'm doing this right now. Oops, come here. Awesome. All right, obsidian time. So the way that you make that is you get yourself a, well, Need to put this water down somewhere temporarily. Don't know where. <laughs> um, let's just put it back here for now. Right, you get yourself your uh, bucket of lava. Chuck that in a stone barrel and get some water. And you place it on the block directly above it. And it'll turn to obsidian now. You gotta be careful it doesn't knock your torches off all over the place. Like this one has. <laughs> it's a... Uh, yeah, that's how you go about making yourself some obsidian. So that's pretty, pretty neat. All these back. All right, that should be fine. So let's get another few of these going here real quick. Um, can I place that here? Yep. All right, that'll do. <laughs> I'm gonna go make these real quick, guys, and I'll be back once we're ready to keep making some of these tanks. Okay, so I think I've got everything that I need. I've got actually 12 blocks of obsidian here. Uh, so that should be plenty for what we're doing. So, make ourselves a couple of tanks from open blocks. And then, have we got a piece of wood? We can grab one here real quick. Now, we make these tanks from Malaculture now. I'm not actually sure how they work exactly. But I think it's... Like that, is it? Yep, and then the glass in the middle. Awesome. So that should be everything to turn the quest in, I think. Rewards. And reward bag or 16 magnesium. I don't actually know. How hard is magnesium to make? So water with flux droplet. Or quick lime. I think that's going to be a fair way off before we need to do that. Let's just get the... Uh, the reward bag. Hopefully we haven't made a poor mistake there. Well, let's consume that heart. Greater. Whoa, fingers crossed. Or juniper saplings. Useful reward. I don't know what junipers are used for, but uh, oh well. A yeah, sort of splintering. Interesting. Three hearts. Yeah, not bad, not bad. I like our pan though. We're going to keep with the pan, I think. So let's chuck those away. I'm really looking forward to getting a magnet at some stage, hopefully. That is what I'm really looking forward to. Chuck that in there. So, how do these tanks work? Let me have a look at these ones, because these ones apparently hold 16 buckets each. Do they not connect up? No, they don't. That is the only issue I have with these ones. Hmm. 
I wonder if they hold their inventory as well. See, this is me just testing to see if these things are... No, they don't, by the look of it. Oh, yeah, it does. Look at that. Cool beans. All right, well, that's good to know. However, I don't know if I want to make a tank out of them. These open block ones are a lot better for, uh, I think, what we're going to do. So, let's uh, craft up a few more of these. That's why I ended up getting uh, 12 obsidian in the first place. So I could make six of these. I'm going to go set this up here. Probably... Um, uh, where now yeah, exactly? Hmm, I need to extend this a little bit more, I think, so we can get some tanks going. Let me go ahead and do that real quick, guys, and I'll be right back. Alright, so the platform's a little bit bigger now. I did adjust where I had these as well. I ended up putting them underneath here. It does uh, make a little bit more sense. So I'm thinking one, two, three, four, five, six. Plenty of space for some lava. Now let's chuck that on there. I wonder if that's going to get rid of that. Uh, mob spawning location if we do it like this. Look at that, 16. Each of these hold 16, I think. Hang on, let's have a look. Um, tank. I think they both hold 16. So I've got plenty of space here for lava to generate over time. Probably not going to use that much uh, wool stone, but we ever need to create more. You can always just chuck more of these crucibles on and uh, you should be good to go. So that's good. Uh, let's light this place up just a tad so mobs cannot spawn. Uh, and then we'll F7 it to turn it off. Sweet. All right, so let's have a look in our quest book here. Yeah, the next quest along was fluid management, and I uh, haven't even come close to getting an AE network going, so I don't think that's going to be on the cards. Let's open up learning to skyblock, see what we've got here. Getting rubber. Getting rubbery. Plastic is a key component in creating the machines you are need for farming and whatnot. That sounds fair enough. Hmm, plastic sheets. That shouldn't be too hard if we get ourselves. I think I've got a... Uh, a rubber tree seeds here somewhere. One of my chests. Look. Rubber tree seed, look at that. So uh, you can use that on that and you get a sapling. And we'll bone meal this so we can get ourselves a rubber tree. Awesome. So this quest shouldn't be too hard then. Oh, did I break? Oh, it is broken. Let's repair this real quick. I need to get some better stairs going, I think. <laughs> We're only just managing to get around on these uh, funny platforms here. We might even fix that here in a second. Um, 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 where am I looking? This one. That didn't even need it. We'll repair this while we're at it too, I guess. Getting all of the rubber. Awesome, and then we'll use our... Have we got a... Don't have one in that chest. Oh, you know what we could do? Let's give our golden Nixon a bit of a go here. Oh, we've even got a sapling already. Jesus, quick. Oh my gosh, it has zero durability. Alright, we're not going to use that anymore. <laughs> I think it's got a very high enchantability. That's uh, one of the good things if you want to strip the enchants off it eventually. I don't even know if you can craft a golden Nixon. Let's get the rest of these though really quickly here. Alright, well, what you do with the raw rubber is you cook it up, I'm pretty sure, to rubber bars, and then you smelt that again, and then you can use that to get yourself your plastic sheets, I'm pretty sure. Yes. So uh, let's uh, get four of those crafting, smelting, smelting. Get a bit of coal going for that. Let's get that in there. And then, uh, while we're doing that, let's fix this up. Let's actually do something here, guys. <laughs> this is starting to get a little bit far-fetched. Right, let's put this down like so. It's getting dark again, but that's alright. Server's backing up even though we're not on a server. Seems legit. How are these going? Pretty close. Got to fill in the time somehow. But uh, if you guys have been playing this map as well, I'm, I wish I got into it sooner. It's a lot more fun, in my opinion, so far than Sky Factory was. Although, it's been since, such a long time since I played Sky Factory, so I can't really judge it that well. Alright, hopefully that's going to be enough fuel. Let's sleep through the night. Hopefully we'll get a proper tree farm going soon as well. I know we only made the uh, that first tree farm 
outside here a little bit ago in the first episode, but it's just not quite cutting off the mustard. I don't think I'll uh, <laughs> continue using it. It's, it's nice and everything. We'll probably keep all of the stuff here, but we just won't use it as an actual tree farm. So, Come on now, raw plastic. You can do it. Really need to automate getting our sieves and all that going here soon as well. Uh, but yeah, it's all just floating along nice and slowly. All right, what have we got? Four raw uh, plastic. All right. So I get your plastic sheets. Is that everything? Surely not. Really? Second bag. All right, what's the next thing? Cultivating. Where? Wow, okay, this one might be. Cultivating the harvest. Bone meal. A large area of grass and use the sickle to harvest the tall grass to obtain seeds and fruit saplings. Food is important. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we need to get a harvester, a planter, an invar sickle, and a sludge boiler. One of each of those, by the look of it. Hmm, alright, well, let's see what's in our reward bag. It's a good one. A boat with Fella Falling 3. Another one. We got. Which one? What's on this boat in here? Four. Ah, uh, five. Well. Fair enough. Apparently they're useful for something, but uh, I have no idea what just yet. And uh, our inventory in here is full. Let's get rid of these. And go in here for now. Really need to sort out a better sorting area for uh, all of our equipment. <laughs> but uh, well, all right. Well, let me quickly have a look here, guys, into the book and uh, see what we want to work on next. I don't know. Well, let's have a look here. I know the sickle's made out of invar. Yeah, where is it? Yep, so we need three bits of invar. Don't think we've quite got that much. What else is there? Uh, the planter, the harvester, and the sludge boiler. Planter. Hmm. Boiler. Yeah, see, they're all requiring different bits and pieces. Might... Have to set up our um, our ore processing before we get into that. All right, uh, pastoral life, spawn chicken, spawn squid. Hmm. Spawn chicken. I think there's a recipe for this. I think I saw one the other day on someone else's video. Let me quickly see if this still works. Um, I think one of the, there's like a hidden recipe using arrows, maybe. But we'll see here really quickly. So you can see the farm is still doing work. <laughs> Alright, let's see if this works. No, it doesn't work. You used to be able to do that and craft yourself up a spawn chicken egg, but I uh, can't do that anymore. Alright, let me quickly go off camera here, guys. Look through the quest book and figure out what we want to work on next. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, so it turns out we're pretty much we're nearly at the end of the episode anyway. So... I thought why, may as well finish it off by trying to do a few more quests. Simple little easy ones here. So uh, this is the start of the Hell's Kitchen uh, quest line. And uh, we're going to do cooking channel. So for this you need the juicer, the bakeware, and the mixing bowl. So I've already got the juicer. Um, bakeware. Oh, we need a whole heap of either bricks or glass. What have we got more of here? Well, we can just do with the clay, so let's just do that really quickly. It's smelting up. What happened to the other clay? Oh, one over there. And uh, I don't have that bit of coal on me, do I? But uh, I'm thinking next episode we're going to step up our, our uh, production here of gravel and sand and dust and automation of all of this sort of stuff, because I'm sticking doing it myself. And uh, that'll be good to have. Uh, what was the other one? Bakeware and the mixing bowl. Oh, pretty straightforward by the look of that. Um, have we got sticks? I swear I had some sticks on me. What is that doing in there, by the way? <laughs> um, oh, it looks like we're just going to have to make a few here really quickly. And we're going to need to get some other stuff. That's right. Let's go grab one piece of oak. But uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. I'm having so much fun recording it. Um, good times, that's for sure. All right, mixing bowl. Two, three. And this is nearly done. So what can you actually use the mixing bowl for? You can make dough. You can make pasta. 
make a whole heap of stuff. Ooh, you can make heavy cream. What can you use that in? You can make butter, pumpkin soup, make a whole heap of different things. Yeah, well, we're going to have to look into that at some stage. Last bit here, not long to go. But uh, like I'm saying, if you guys are enjoying the this series, I'm sure you'll let me know down in the comments below. And uh, there we go, bakeware. So that should be it for that first bit. Rewards. Oof. Oh, no, we've got juicing. Oh, we need apple juice? Okay, well, lucky we've got some apples lying around here somewhere. Oh, they had some in my inventory. Classic. All right. Where'd I put the juicer? Chuck that in there. Put in there. Apple juice. Sweet. All right, hopefully that's the last little bit here. Yes, look at that. Rewards. Claim reward. Good bag. Let's see. Dark wood saplings. Reduces chalky apples. What do they do? Oh, no. Alright, don't know. But that is going to do it for this episode, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you leave a like down below. I always like reading your comments as well. So if you want to leave me one, make sure you go ahead and do so. I'll uh, give it a read. And uh, if I like it, I'll comment on it probably in the next episode or not. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel to keep up to date with this series, along with all the other series on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So yeah, that's going to do it. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. My name is Ben Snorsby. I'll catch you next time. See ya.